Hi Sarah, this is Josh Van Vliet with NWA 3D and I'm going to show you real quickly how to install the switch on your printer. So uh, it's a pretty quick process. Let me move the camera down here. So the switch in question is right here. This is called the, uh, the X limit switch. It's the little piece there that clicks. And that's what we think is malfunctioning. And in the back here you have a little cable so if I can get in a little closer here. You have a little connector right here that you can unplug by kind of putting your fingers in there and just pulling it loose like that. Then you're going to use the Allen key that came with your printer, or if you have a different one, it's a two millimeter Allen key. And then you just want to use it to remove these four screws right here. <clears throat> that way we can get this plate loose and we'll be able to remove that switch. Just like this, all right. So there. Got all four screws, set them to the side right here. And then here's what your switch looks like. So what you can do is you can use your fingers to hold this nut because it's not very tight. And then <clears throat> use your Allen key to turn the screws that are on here to remove the, uh, the switch. Just like that. There you go. Now if you want, you can use your finger to hold those screws in like this, and then you can take the old switch off like that. And then you can just take the new switch and put it back on. And you want to make sure the connector's on the inside here, just like that. So there's a gap right here. Okay. Then you just put it all back together in reverse of how we took it apart. Well, these little M3 nuts can be a hassle sometimes. There we go. And then when you put them back on, they don't need to be tight. We just want to make them snug because if you get them too tight, it'll actually turn this little con or bend this little control board and smash that connector. And we don't need to do that. So we'll just finger tighten them like that with your fingernail or something. It works just fine. So there you go. Then we're just going to install it back on there using these four screws. <clears throat> and get it set in there with, with fingers. And get that to start in there. There we go. All right, and there you go. And then this can be a little tricky. It helps if you put one finger up in the underside, and then you put the other finger into the top, and then you can kind of guide that connector into place just like that. <clears throat> and then once it's put it clicked in all the way, you can see it's plugged in real nice. Now we can test the printer. We can have some power here. <clears throat> we'll verify that the switch works by instructing it to auto home. So we go to setup auto home. 
And there you go. Looks like it works just fine. So let us know if you need anything else. Uh, we'll be glad to help you with anything else you need and let us know if that switch doesn't fix the issue. It really should, judging by the symptoms that you described. So uh, just let us know if you need anything else. We're here to help. Thank you.